Hello, hello, hello Periscope people. It's Kerry Hales here from kerryhales.com, transformational life coach. Today I am going to be talking about who's rule. Hello Tutu, Total Moon Tarot. Mm, I like that name. Say hello. So please, please, everybody who comes along, please do say hello, introduce yourself. Where are you from? What are you doing for a living? Come on, tell me a little about yourself. And please do send me hearts, I do love them. So here I am, and it is Thursday evening. Hello, hello. Um, Thursday evening, and it's 6.30. And today I am going to be talking about whose rules in your life. So what are the rules that you have? Now these aren't written rules, but I find myself talking to a lot of clients about uh, the police that are in your life from the UK. Oh, hello. Yes, I do know lovely Sasha. Yes. Oh, I know who you are now. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and so who rules your life? Who are the rules and what are the rules that you have in your life that uh, sometimes support you and sometimes don't? And sometimes they aren't rules that you've actually been conscious that you're aware of. So these are the kind of rules that you have to do certain things by certain times, certain ways. Thank you for the heart. And um, my suggestion is that sometimes we don't stop and actually look and go, are these rules supporting who I am? Not who my parents, parents, parents were when they decided that things had to be done a certain way at a certain time. So I say, actually, they may well soothe you, they may well suit who you are, but they may well be quite rigid for you and you might be an artistic character or they might be too artistic and you need more a, a, a stricter schedule. They may well be that you have to do certain things in a certain way at a certain time. So it might be that you have to do the washing up before you sit down and watch the telly. Or they might be... So there could be loads of things. Loads of things of how it has to be. And what I'm telling you is that it doesn't. You have the right to change your own rules. It's your life. Your rules. So... As an example, I'll give you an example, and this is a great thing, right? This is just an analogy, and you've probably heard it before, but I'm going to give it to you anyway, because it's a really good analogy of how to sort of thinking about how many rules we follow. So um, it's in America, and uh, it's Thanksgiving, and the uh, young bride is cooking a ham, which they do in the States. And um, she's uh, cutting off the ends of the ham to put inside the tray. And her husband sort of looks and says, well, why are you cutting off the end of the ham? She said, just, just, well, my mum always cut the ends off the ham, so I cut off the ends off the ham. So he says, well, why do, you, why do you do that? She says, well, I don't know. That's for my mother. So we ring, so she rings her mother. She says, mum, why do you cut off the ends of the ham? She says, well, I don't know. Your, your mum, your nan always used to do it. I'll, I'll ask her. She's here. She says, it's not, why did you cut off the ends of the ham? So she says, well, I only had a very small oven and a very small dish, so I always had to cut the ends of the ham off. So these traditions are passed down to cut the ends of the ham off and not thought about, not to say actually, well, why? Why do we do that? What, why is it that we cut the ends of the hams off of our things? I know, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> And, and, and you just go, well, what, what are the other so-called traditions that you carry on for yourself and you're for your family because they are traditions or because they nobody's questioned them? Nobody's thought, mm, actually, I don't know why I do that. You know, there are things like when I first moved in with my partner and he used to ch cut through everything in the salad. I was just looked at him and was like, oh. So he turned around and said, hello, Katie Louise Yan. And it looked at me as if I was crazy. So he said, well, you'll just have to do a different salad. And I thought, this is the end of the world. We were going to do two different salads. Because we hadn't arranged our rules. We hadn't got our rules together. And then we kind of was like, well, okay, how do we make new rules to soothe you and how you have them and add new rules to how I have them? So my question today really is all about have a look around your life and see what it is that you do 
not because you decided to, because somebody else at some point in their life made a decision to do it that way. So it's because like I know when my kids grow up, they'll have my traditions and think that that's the right way to do it. Well, it is the right way for me in this lifetime, living how I live and the way that we live, but it might not be for you. And it might not be for how you've got taken on something that may well be a soothing to you because it was what your parents did or their parents did, but does it suit you in your lifetime now? You know, so and, and I want you to really stop and have a good look around and think, well, how could I change it? What else could I do? How else could I do it differently? What would work for me? So that's my question for you today. Always lovely and short and sweet. I love Periscope for that. Is there any questions? There are six of you here. Just six hearts are coming. We do like a heart. So if you'd like to say something or ask me a question, here I am. Very experienced in lots of different areas. If you'd like to ask me any question you want about your life, I do this hang in the washing. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's good quality stuff. <laughs> so if there's any of you questions if not this is me I'm here on a Thursday at 6 30 and a Monday at 12 30 and I um, would love to hear from you um, and that is it so thank you very much see you again next week bye I do the way my mum does it brilliant <laughs> perfect <laughs>